Welcome back everyone. Some of you may recognize this engine. This is the one from the video the other day that showed what happened when the carburetor failed. So, the new carburetor came in, we're going to put it on. And it's a little warm in my garage today. First thing we're going to do is we'll pull off the air filter cover and the air filter. Remember? Look at that. All that gas that's in there. Now, in my short video that I posted, I mentioned that I drained the oil. And it had, this engine holds 18 ounces, and I took 24 ounces out. So there's no oil in here. Pull the dipstick. Can you see that? I'm not sure if, how well you can see that. That is all gas. There's no oil in the engine. But that's all gas on there. Alright, so there's four bolts. There's this one here and here. Those two are 5 sixteenths. 9 30 seconds, 9 30 seconds. Be careful, especially with these two, because they only go on the plastic when we put it back together. So we're going to zip these ones out. Now we'll swap over to 9 30 seconds. And we'll pull the carburetor base off, just like that. Next step is this rod here. When you pull the carburetor off, you're going to have to try to maneuver it around, but there's another one in the back, so it makes it real hard to twist. Try to get a screwdriver in there and pry it up and pop it off. Now we can just twist it. Pop it off. We can pull the spring off because we're gonna re we're gonna use the new one. So that's that. Don't lose that. So again, we're gonna reuse it. Now I'll slide the carburetor out some. Pair of needle nose pliers or whatever you have, and crimp the fuel line. Pinch it off so gas can't come out. in here and do the clamp pull the gas line off now you might have to stick a screwdriver in there and pry it back sometimes they get wedged in there sometimes you just take them off easy all right next step is pull the carburetor out you have a rod here twist it and it comes right off because it, as you can see, it has a Z bend, so you're just going to twist it right out of there. So now we'll take the two carburetors, hold them side by side, and make sure everything matches. Everything is exactly the same. Now you notice this one still has the plastic ring, this one does not. It's still on the engine. We will pull that off. We will not need it. You won't get a good seal with that on there. Take off the O-ring. And pull off the plastic ring. We don't need those. Now we're going to start putting the carburetor back on. On the back, you got this hole. Grab the rod. Hold the carburetor at an angle. Pretty much sideways. And as simple as that. Next, we will put the fuel line on. Slide it on all the way. Grab your pliers. Slide the clamp in place. We're going to take, remember this rod? Remember this plus piece? We're going to put it on the Z-bin. And set it in place and pay attention that it goes behind this piece so once you got it set on there as you see it's not down all the way put your fingers down here put your thumbs up and snap it in 
But Grandpa, you're showing us how to do this, but what if I need to part? Do you have a part number? Absolutely. I went with the OEM, Briggs & Stratton. Get this one for you. 594058. You can get it online. Check with your local small engine shops. They may even have it in stock. I got that one on Amazon. All right, so we're almost done. Everything's back together. Just got to put the cover on. Take the hose here. I know you can't see it. It'll be too hard to get the camera in view. It does have little tabs here. They line up here and this hole. So again, hook up your tube. Line the hose up. And again, these two screws are just going into the plastic carburetor. So we're just going to start them with the impact, and then we'll finish them by hand. We don't want to strip them. So zip those in. Now we'll switch over to the 5 16 These ones, you are actually going into some kind of metal. So if you want to zip them in, if you have a small impact, don't go crazy. I don't want you telling me, Grandpa, you said to use my impact. Well, I'll use some common sense here. All right, so now we'll get out the ratchet and we're going to snug them up by hand. Again, using common sense, not to over tighten and break anything. Now we can tighten these ones up. Again, don't over tighten. Brand new air filter. And I did wash the base and the cover. So, no sense of putting dirty ones back on. Get it cleaned up. All right, so now that everything's back on, we're going to lay this on the gas line to prevent the gas from going in the carburetor and going back into the engine when I tip it over to drain the gas out of the engine. So let me go do that, fill it with oil, and I'll take that off and we'll fire it up. Here we go. We're going to give it a try. Have a good day.